Now, before you start anything, you wanna get into your settings and make sure that everything is updated. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So down in the lower right, we're gonna push our settings. And in our settings, we're gonna go down here to our settings and we're gonna to connect to Wi-Fi, pick our language, our time zone, and uh, when it goes to sleep, if you're not using it. Then we're gonna check our file system. Here's where we can save our screenshots. All right, we got our photo album. We got our floating window. We can either have that on or off. If there is updates, it will give you, uh, it will give you the updates that are available. So I got three vehicles that did not download yesterday. You can see I updated 178 files. Now that take a little bit of time, but it connects to Wi-Fi, downloads it, installs it. I had trouble with these three, but I don't have a Mercedes, a Proton, or a Toyota, so uh, I'm not too worried about those. If I went to, if I wanted to update this system, uh, not just vehicles, but the system itself and the software inside, I click the app, and then if there was an update, I would have an update button. I have already updated that to the current version of 1.1.4. The Muckar OBD code reader was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. OBD is your onboard diagnostics tool. And what it's gonna do is read your trouble codes or when your check engine light is on, it's gonna tell you uh, from your transmission to your engine what's going on inside. Now this is one of the better OBD readers that I've had an opportunity to review. And uh, we're just now powering it on. I already have it plugged in. The first thing it's gonna do is called a smog report. So it's gonna check all of your components, your, uh, your EVAP cooler, your uh, O2 sensors and things of that nature. It's gonna do a test of 14. And uh, if you have those particular components, then it will read that as either a green light is good or is failing with a red light. So uh, once you get this on and going, uh, it's going to ask you to push your start button and then you can see it's doing the search on the smog and so we'll wait for that to come up and then I'll show you uh, a good number of these features that we have here. Now while that's doing the report, you got two ways that you can use this. This is a touch screen which is super nice or you can use the buttons over here on the side and toggle through and use your OK buttons and your return button. Now. Uh, this is also connected to Wi-Fi, so when you do have a trouble code that does come up, you can just click on it, it'll take you right to, to Google, do a Google search for you, explain what that code is, and how to fix it. I tell you what, I have not used a code reader like this before, and I think that this is super handy, and it's just about self-explanatory, right out of the box, it's quick and easy to use. You're gonna set it to your primary language, you're gonna set the time, and then you're also going to wanna go into it and uh, update any uh, any APK files that need to be updated or any other purchases that you have made uh, to get the very most out of this. So you can see here's my smog report and uh, what it has done is has tested uh, seven components and I got a couple of red flags here. So I can click on that and it's gonna tell me what we have checked, what's good and what's bad. So there's my cat or my catalytic converter. There's my evaporator cooler and I can click report on there if I want to and what this is gonna do is create a report that uh, is, I can email it to myself and look it up on a larger computer. I can turn that into a PDF and I can send that to myself or I can save it right here on the device itself. Pretty neat feature to have there. We go back to our home screen. Uh, we can scan by particular vehicle. We can look up the VIN number. It can also search your own VI VIN number. Uh, it's never been able to find mine. I have to punch it in by hand, so I'm not using that feature right now. The history is going to record all of the history that uh, is within the device that you have saved. So here's the primary way that many of us are going to use this. We're gonna click our code and we're gonna read codes. Select our vehicle and I have a Kia. So now we are checking trouble codes to see if we have any any troubles or anything that is failing. Currently, I do not have a check engine light on, so it says there are no codes in the system. Actually, yesterday, I cleared my codes and uh, we do not have any saved codes either, so all is good with that. Uh, we will check another vehicle that does have a code just so I can show you what that looks like. Here's what's really neat. When we click our onboard monitor, it's going to check everything in your in your uh, in your engine in your transmission it's also going to give you the specs and what your values are so we can see here that we are uh, 
there's my uh, short-term fuel trim, long-term fuel trim, and it's checking bank one and bank two. It's checking your catalytic converter. It's checking your fuel rail. It's checking your fuel pressure. It's checking your intake manifold and your uh, your air intake. And so I'm going to go ahead and start this, and we're going to see these numbers change uh, in in live time. Here's my live stream data. Now here we got everything changing in live time. There's my engine coolant temperature, 147 degrees. Air intake temperature, 125. There's my uh, there's my two banks of my O2 sensors. There's an oxygen sensor right there. There's an oxygen sensor. Oxygen sensor checking all of these values, and it's giving you uh, where it should fall, a 0.1 to a 0.9. And if it's not, if your value is not where it needs to be within those parameters, it's going to give you a red flag. Now, as you uh, as you accelerate, as you do different things, and as your engine warms up, these values are constantly going to be changing. Just because they're red, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad. Now, I'm going to accelerate, and I'm over 2,000, and so it's just got like an instant read on there. So what we can do is we can record that, we can report that, we can save that, we can email that to ourselves, we can look up anything that we need to look up. When we go back to our home screen, we can look at other diagnostics, we can check our O2 sensors, we can check our EVAP system, we can check our, our trouble code lookups, and uh, since we don't have any trouble codes, we're not gonna look that one up, but here's my O2 sensors. We can just do a live feed of just my sensors, and there they are. You can see if your if your fuel is running too rich, too lean, which bank. Everything that you need to know about your O2 sensors. You're not going to find that on those those cheap OBD readers. Now, if I did have trouble codes that I had fixed and it was still in the memory, I can click erase and erase everything on there. Now, uh, one of the the neat things, a couple of neat things here that we we can do, um, is that we can click this bubble right here, which is movable. We can click that bubble there and we can get a hold of customer service. We can send them an email and uh, or we can take a picture. We can uh, send them a screenshot, whatever we need to do to get the information that we need. We can click our expand here and it's going to tell you your software and if you're up to date and, and what is available that you can purchase. Over here you've got the time, you've got your, your battery percentage and then it's also showing you what your uh, what your voltage coming out of your battery is, your car battery. Okay, so we're in our one ton dually here. You can probably hear the exhaust, but my smog report has six green lights on it, so we're good to go there. What I wanna do here is my code reader, see if we have any trouble codes that are showing up. And uh, so what we have here is a GM, and there are a couple of codes. So my check engine light is on, and uh, what we have here is camshaft to crank sensor, uh, crank position fault. Uh, and what that means is uh, my distributor cap is turned just a little bit, and so I expected codes to come up. But when these codes come up, we can click on the code, and it's gonna take you right to Google. It's gonna explain the code, and it's also going to tell you how to fix the code. So here we are on Google now. The P1345 code is a manufacturer specific OBD code that deals with the ignition problems as it is tied to the crankshaft or and camshaft position. So mine is, you know, you got your, your forward and you got your retarded and uh, I got mine retarded just a little bit because I pull a heavy camper and, uh, and I've got that set the way that I, I want that by about one degree. But that's a neat little feature there. When we come back into, uh, to all the other features of, of the uh, of the unit what we can do is erase those codes because I am I'm certain my check engine light just went off we'll read those codes read those codes again see if they come up for some reason And there's no code so um, what we'll do here is monitor this if my check engine light comes back on well then we'll have to hook up the machine and find out what we got going with this and uh, and go from there we got the onboard monitor we can check all of those as well make sure everything is running smoothly just as it should be
Okay, so these OBD readers, I, I mean, they're just a, they're a dream come true. I tell you, if you take these into a shop, it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to have them run a diagnostic test on your car. Uh, and these, if you have one of your own, it's going to help you in purchasing used cars, whether you're going to a car lot or you're buying from a private party. Uh, you can check and see what's been going on with that that car. Uh, not everybody can clear their codes. They've actually got to go somewhere to have that done. So if there has been a trouble code that they fixed in the past, it's going to show up on the machine and uh, it's going to let you know what uh, what has been going on inside that engine, that transmission. Uh, as you can see, all things are going well with my vehicles and uh, we're pretty happy about that. And uh, you need to make sure that everything's going well with your vehicles as well. So the Mucar OBD trouble code reader, Definitely something that we need to keep.